I've always told my wife, if I get the opportunity, please, just let me go. I always watch your heroes playing black and white hoops, and uh, now to get the opportunity is unbelievable. Playing with a group of guys from all over the world, from different countries, different backgrounds, different cultures, is something that's pretty special. It's a heritage that was before me and will be after me. You know, you, you get the opportunity to wear a shirt for a week and enjoy what people did 100 years ago, and hopefully this tradition will keep on going for another 100 years. There's nothing like it, especially in this professional era that we're in now. How they run the team is still professional, but there's a lot of amateur things that I love that come from the barbarians. I'm a quite an old school type of guy, and the barbarians satisfy that need from an old school era. You meet players on a Monday, and you put a together performance on a Saturday to be proud of, and that is the beauty of it. You meet new guys you play against year in, year out, and normally uh, they get together a great squad of players, and players that you try to bash a week in and week out, and now you've got an opportunity to play with them. It's not as technical as it would be with any other uh, international setup. Um, we try to mostly just focus on ourselves, firstly get names for plays, get the line out sorted, and just make sure that we put a decent performance together from a technical point of view. Um, we've, got, we've got an attacking coach, we've got a head coach, and we've got a, a defensive coach. Um, between them, they come in and um, each do their own. They, they help and structure certain things, and that's pretty much what goes on for about an hour before training. We back you guys for your circus acts, Carlos. I know you've got a few. <laughs> so we got to back you for your God-given talent, that circus act. You've got to show it. So in your play, in your group, the style you're going to have, you're going to have ample chance to play that team and excel in that. Every rugby player's got a certain skill that makes them special and makes them probably good in what they do. Uh, and the coach said, listen, guys, go out and don't try someone else's kind of uh, circus skill. You've got your own one uh, that, make, that makes you unique. Try that and leave it to that. So the thing is you want to have a, put a good performance together, but um, it is a test match. So you want to make sure that it's a good circus act, not a bad one. There's no rules to meet new players, but from a player's perspective, you want to meet new guys. You want to interact with different guys. And I guess that's not just my mentality. If you come to the Barbarians, you bring a mentality of growth and a mentality of let's have fun. I want to know you and you want to know, get to know me better. And, and I think that's a beauty of it, yeah. So there's, in my 11 years on and off that I've been involved, I've never experienced a clickiness anyway. It's too short of a time to form a click anyway. I mean, you're only there for a week, so you think, okay, let's make the best of this week. As always, music is very important on uh, these barbarian trips, and as you can see, Jesse Krill is in charge. Um, I'm gonna walk over and um, let's talk a bit about his uh, music taste. Um, hello, Jesse. Um, I see you are the DJ. I'm trying to be. Try, I'm trying to be. It's quite hard to, to, to please the boys here. So what kind of genres you, are you going for? Uh, I'm going purely on requests. And, yes. Uh, what Evan has asked, as the guys walk past, they've asked uh, for a few song choices, so yeah. Any particular uh, music that you thought is out of order or...? Yeah, so she has obviously requested, um, it's, I think it's called um, If I Ever Saw Heaven, so I think, I uh, don't know what, what that's got to do about, but um, if he, that's, that's next on the playlist, so yeah. Well, can, can, you, can you start that song, see us a song, please? Here we go. Yeah, he's got to sing, he's got to sing. Okay, Sia, you've, you've requested the song. Can you sing it, please? I can get into the kind of world I'll be willing to lose. As you can hear, he's got an uh, angel's voice. <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> I guess with professional setups, they put a GPS on your back and make sure that you only run X amount of Ks per week. Yeah, you come in and you literally can't be physical, you can't tackle each other, there's not enough time. So it's literally micromanagement, line out scrums, and you only got about two hours the whole week. So you have to be very efficient when you tactically look at what you do in each facet of the game. And then actually on Saturdays, you just go play, like kids. And that's the beauty of forbearance. It's like most of the message I've received is, boys, just go have fun. Work hard, 
So you earn respect from the players, your teammates, and from the opposition, but go have fun. With every squad I've been involved, you try things that isn't really allowed or seen on an international level. So here you've got the opportunity to do funny things. We had from back foot kicks to funny lineouts to scrums in different positions, or you've got the whole back line in the lineout. It's a bit of fun. You try things that's, that's never been done. If it comes off fantastic, 90% of the time it fails, but why not? And that's the beauty of it. You'll see we'll have a couple of things up our sleeve and hopefully the opposition will have the same kind of reaction to what you have when you see it the first time. It's like, oh my, <laughs> what are they doing? And like this morning we had a line where the guy was looking in the opposite direction when I had to throw the ball in. And it's like, you don't see that in international rugby. Like I've always said, front row are multi-skilled. They're definitely the most intelligent, that's a fact. They date the most beautiful women and get married to the most beautiful women. It's probably just the intellects. And thirdly, kicking skills. Everyone had a go in our team, and guess who got it? Steven Kitsoff, our loose head prop. I mean, you're supposed to, you look at all the backs kicking every day, and they can't hit the crossbar, yet the prop does it. I play this game to make memories. And this is one place where you can make memories that will stay with you for the rest of your life. Everyone remember, well, they say they remember the, the World Cup wins or the Premiership wins, but this memories I'll, I'll cherish forever.